It's time to welcome the Wine Ladies with Georgia and Suzanne. An entertaining hour topped up with great ideas about wine, where to dine, anything and everything to do with the vine. Great conversation, lots of laughter, guests from all walks of life, food and wine, music, art, sports, and much more, all on The Wine Ladies. Hi, everybody. It's us, The Wine Ladies. I'm Georgia. And I'm Suzanne. And a big welcome to everybody listening live on thatchannel.com. We are so excited to be here. And as well, you will also be able to listen to The Wine Ladies very soon on the radio, uh, the Jewel Radio Network on 98.5 in Toronto at 88.5 in Ottawa and 107.7 in Hawkesbury. All coming soon. You can't escape us. Where there's a will, there's a way to find us. So what are we going to be talking about? today well the Super Bowl Mm -hmm. is coming up on February 7th uh, in its 44th year I guess it is Um, do you know Suzanne that um, the Super Bowl Sunday is the second largest day for food consumption in the United States really like that's a lot of food so you know people are gonna be planning their parties and getting you know figuring out what are they going to serve both food and drink wise and that's what we're gonna be talking about today well you know what it's not all about Bud Light and (laughs) chicken wings or buffalo wings we're gonna step things up a little bit this this afternoon with uh, entertaining wine tips and food that accommodates uh, wine. <laughs> Absolutely. Now joining us in studio, we have a former football player himself. <laughs> we have uh, for the Montreal Alouettes, I believe it was. Um, Rudy Florio is here with us and Rudy is the proprietor, the founder of Liaison College with 10 locations, one of the top culinary schools. Welcome Rudy. Thank you, uh, ladies. It's a pleasure to be here, and uh, I am uh, I used to be a football player, and I used to be a Bud Light wing guy. <laughs> well, well, that's well. okay. <laughs> also in studio, we also have an award-winning chef, uh, actually with over 50 medals uh, from many corners of the globe. Executive chef Sean Whalen is here as well. He is the owner um, and culinary director of the Liaison College Toronto West location. So welcome, Chef Sean. Hi, ladies. Thank you very much. Pleasure to be here. Pleasure to bring some food, not buffalo wings, although that's (laughs) I'm with Rudy, uh, although I don't drink Bud Light. We drink something a little more heavier, but uh, (laughs) I'm also a wing type guy, but I've brought some very nice uh, food to accommodate your wine selections for today. Awesome. Okay. Well, of course, we, we, as we mentioned, we've got the food covered uh, with some terrific recipes that are going to be coming up. But what about the wine? Mm. Now, although the New York Jets didn't quite make it on Sunday, we've got a real <laughs> touchdown of a winery from, from uh, New York here representing uh, Finger Lakes. We have Stephen Shaw from Shaw Vineyards. Welcome, Stephen, to the show. Ladies, thank you so much. Uh, great to be here and uh, great to have some uh, fantastic New York State wines to uh, accompany some of this great food that we're going to have. We're so happy you drove all the way down from Manhattan to see us. Long way, just a little thank bit. Thank you for little doing bit that. Of a hike, really appreciate thank that. Thank you. Thank you so much. So is, is, is Super Bowl a big deal for all of you guys here? Do you guys <laughs> all watch it? Absolutely. Yeah? Absolutely. Okay. And the food? I've already missed one. <laughs> really? <the> years. Yes. <laughs> awesome. Well, I know for us, um, so I don't really know that much about football, but um, I, I'm What's really... What's a tight in- end? I need to know what that is. <laughs> well, let me stand up. <laughs> I think Steve's cheering for New Orleans because uh, the Jets got defeated by Indianapolis last week, but I, I think that uh, right. the Colts and Peyton Manning are going to be the, uh, uh, the team. Oh, all right. Well, okay. Well, we'll look forward to seeing that on February 7th. But in the meantime, we want to know what everybody's going to be serving on February 7th. So, I don't know, maybe, Rudy, we can start with you. Food is, is, um, be- is just seems to be becoming bigger and bigger. Local food, eating healthfully with the movie Julia and Julia. Mm-hmm. It's huge. So maybe you can tell us a little bit about Leah's own college and how you, you, you know, you came from a football player to being a... Uh, a owner of a school 10 well uh 10 we started in 1996 and we started with one location there are now 10 they're all independently owned and operated Mm -hmm. and uh we train uh young people and old whether it's your first career your second career your third career uh, uh students in our schools are learning top techniques from people like sean and uh, they get out and work in the industry. Uh, some of them are now competing and uh, executive chefs. 
and uh, so we've kind of moved right along and, and in fact we're on the, we're, we've started to do some shoots for the Super Bowl uh, wow. some of our students have been doing some some themes which I think we might be seeing a little bit later yeah, yes. pork. yeah he's from North Carolina and yes, we saw he'll, that. he'll say on there and and it tastes great we I was in there when they were shooting it and yeah. it was kind of interesting the way he was doing it and I and it was really simple the way he, he, he put it together. So uh, I think folks are going to like that. So yeah. what does it take to be a great chef or even a good chef? What kind of qualities do you look for? Well, I think you have to have a great passion to, mm. to, to cook and a great passion to uh, create. Uh, so no matter what function you're going to be at, food will always be the center of, of, of that function right. and uh, now wait a second wait a second we're missing out on something there what, what? It, well wine is oftentimes <laughs> part the, the center of attention right food and wine Rudy yes you're, okay. you're absolutely okay, half, correct half. you're absolutely I'll meet you correct halfway. <laughs> okay you're there all right and uh, you know what I think is really cool we, Suzanne you were talking we were talking earlier at the top of the show about um, being you know on on dot com now and mm -hmm. you know on the radio etc we actually met Stephen on Facebook it's incredible. It is, wow. which I think is kind of fun. Like, we met that way. You sent us an email, and here you are sitting in the studio. A world us. much smaller, Facebook.com. It's, it's <laughs> yeah, incredible. It, it really yeah, is. Yeah, it really is. So uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about Shaw Vineyard? Yeah. Well, I mean, I do agree with Rudy. I think uh, as far as wine, I mean, it takes pa anything in life. It takes passion. I agree. I definitely agree with Rudy. Um, Shaw Vineyard started out in 1980. Uh, my father planted Chardonnay and uh, Cabernet, uh -huh. uh, roughly uh, probably the spring of 1980, something like that. And um, this was a time when things were starting to happen in Napa Valley with uh, European varietals. People were uh, people were just starting to get into into European varietals in in the states. That is, um, in uh, I think uh, you know as far as the pattern is followed as well all across North America and you know everywhere. But um, so it started out as growers. Uh, my father's started out growing grapes for several wineries, several uh, local wineries, Herman Weimer, uh, Dr. Frank, some notable uh -huh. wineries, uh, the Constellation Wine Group, which is based in Rochester, New York, right. and uh, roughly 2002, right around there, was okay. our first vintage, and uh, won some gold medals, and uh, gotten some very favorable spectator ratings. Now are your wines available throughout the United States? The wines are available, actually, at this point, in New York State, in the New state York of New York, uh, Metro New York, upstate New York. Um, but our main focus is New York State as of yet. So there's now you uh, brought in two wines that I know one of them specifically um, had got a good rating in '87. I'm sure they both got good ratings. You know, you, <laughs> I only know the, this one, but I know you've got a whole list of, of uh, great marks that you've gotten from the wine We do have a good report card. Yeah, we have a great, we've got a great report card. Um, the uh, 2005 Cabernet Sauvignon got an 87 in the wine spectrum. Yes, so we're, just, we're awesome. ecstatic. Thank you. Yeah, we're ecstatic about that. Absolutely. Yeah. Now, what about the chef? Now, what are you going to be making? for us uh, this afternoon well what I like for Super Bowl I like to um, yeah I don't want anything no pop. chicken wings Nothing, well, <laughs> no, there always should be the, the thing about Super Bowl is if you're having a party or a get-together the thing you have to do is make a lot of it because Super Bowl goes on for at least four hours yes. uh -huh. and you just eat and drink for those four hours so <laughs> what I like to do is make large batches of food like chili or stews or that sort of thing lots of bread to soak up all the beer that you're drinking <laughs> uh, but what i've brought for you today is something a little bit more uh, upscale for that but along the same theme uh, i've made a um, a chorizo and shrimp rice pilaf Ooh. where you just put all the ingredients into a rice cooker turn it on away you go again you don't want to be, be slaving fussing. in the kitchen all day long I've also made uh, some pork hocks braised in sauerkraut, braised for five or six hours in sauerkraut and apple cider with some double smoked bacon. That's a great thing. It's not your chicken wing type variety, but it, it's a little more upgraded than that. It's uh, wholesome, it's, it, it keeps you warm on the cold day. And also did a little appetizer of snow crab cakes uh, with a Cajun mayo to top it. Oh. A little bit more. Classy. Oh, yeah. oh, that Very sounds nice. yummy. Yes. Awesome. Very we nice. won't have to have lunch or dinner. <laughs> <laughs> There's lots of food here. Lots of food. So, All right. So, I just want to tell everyone that you're listening to the uh, the Wine Ladies on ThatChannel.com, as well as on the Jewel Radio Network. And for a complete podcast of the show, afterwards, you can go to ThatChannel.com slash The Wine Ladies.